newsworthy sagas and stories. Hello, welcome once more to Northworthy Sagas and Stories. I'm Tick here. Please feel free to leave a comment, smash the like button, and please subscribe. Now we've already heard about the god Forseti, son of Balder and Nanna, one of the great gods of the north. If you haven't heard this story yet, then please click on the card. There was an island not far from the coast between the border of Denmark and Frisia called Forseti's Land. Here it was that the wise men of the Frisians had been given a set of laws by the god Forseti himself, and also the place where the strike of his great axe caused a holy spring to burst forth from the ground. This was such a holy place to the Frisians that whenever anyone went there to pray to the god or to draw water, they did so in silence, in reverence for the Lord of that place. Now time went by, and it was in the 8th century AD, according to the Christian calendar, that a priest, Saint Willibrod, he went there with his party of uh, companions his mission was to challenge the pagans. And so he and his party, they visited the island. They took a ship, landed upon the strand, pulled it up to the beach, and straight away they went to the place where the holy sanctuary lay. And the spring gushed forth its pure water. And Saint Willabroad, he deliberately took three of his followers and baptised them in the water from that well. And straight away thereafter, he killed a cow and prepared it to eat, which was forbidden by the Frisians' most sacred law. Now by this time, the Frisians had seen what St. Willibrod was doing, and they sent soldiers who seized that venerable man, and all his companions dragged them off to await the judgment of the Frisian king, Radbod. Radbod was furious about the way that their holy sanctuary had been defiled, and therefore he ordered that lots be drawn to see which of the foreigners should be killed. The lots were drawn, but to King Radbod's disappointment, none of them came up in favour of St. Willibrod. The saint escaped. So the king called for lots to be drawn again. Once more, Willibrod escaped his fate. A third time the lots were taken. One man was killed, but Willibrod remained alive. And according to the laws set down by the god Forseti, they could not be drawn for a fourth time. So King Radbrod, despite his better judgment, was obliged to leave God's chosen man, that noble saint, Willibrod, to return to his ship and leave his kingdom unharmed. And that's the end of this particular tale. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and, as always, click on the notification bell. Thank you.